A local mom taking action after she says her son, who has disabilities, was violently thrown to the ground. It's suspected the boy's classmates in the West Allis, West Milwaukee School District are, resp are responsible. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore is live in West Allis tonight after speaking with his distraught mother, Michelle. Natalie Jessup, he's a 12-year-old boy who did nothing to provoke the attack. It happened here at Lane Intermediate and has left lingering medical consequences. We're blurring his face, but you can see he walks with a limp. This sixth grade Lane Intermediate student who has epilepsy and a rare condition known as PMG. I think he was targeted for his disability. These kids didn't pick on a six foot, 180 pound kid. They picked on a four and a half foot, 70 pound kid who doesn't have use of his left side. May 4th, West Allis police cited three 12 year old boys with battery and a 12 year old girl with disorderly conduct after the group chased the sixth grader as school let out for the day. So there was one kid that grabbed one arm, another kid that grabbed the other arm, and then the third kid grabbed him by the back and they lifted him up and slammed him and then said it was a joke. Devin Ray says the attack has left lingering effects on her epileptic son who was already dealing with a lot. Here he is playing video games, using his face to push the controller because his left hand can't. It's taken more than just a bump on his head to his well-being, that's for sure. But administrators told her they'd file truancy against her, even though she told them she no longer felt he was safe at school. The school hates him for getting the popular kids in trouble, which I don't blame him because that's how they made him feel. Ray says administrators ultimately offered up a safe plan. It called for Ray's son to be taken out of class early each period so he could walk alone to his next class away from his attackers. Unacceptable, says his mom. She's filed an appeal with DPI and is awaiting their decision. For now, she's homeschooling him and says she'll never send him back. Lane's principal has not returned this fall. No one from the district responded to our inquiry about that, but they did reply when we asked about the attack, saying just that they have no comment on student-related matters that are uh, confidential. Reporting here live in West Allis, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.